people. There's no one in a corporate setting that is an island. There's no one that goes into a place thinking, oh, I'm so good and everybody is so bad. You're not going to achieve much. Because no matter how great you are, you need the combined resources of other people in order for you to be able to achieve much. In the corporate world of today, collaboration is key. Partnerships are key. Your ability to work with teams and other people is important. Because no matter what talents we possess, they're limited. There is just so much that is required. There's, there's high velocity of change around us every day. And we have a need to be able to apply ourselves. If you're one of those people that think, oh, I've been doing this job for the last 20 years, 30 years, how can they bring one girl from somewhere and want to put her above me? Listen to me. It's not about how long you've done it. It's not about how old you are. It's not about what exposure you've even had. It's about the relevance of what you know to what that organization needs at that point in time. And in a world where there's so many things that control the world of today that didn't exist 10 years ago, it shows you the level of the rate at which things go obsolete. So your open-mindedness, your ability to learn from the young and the old, your ability to engage across fields and across borders, your ability to be teachable and to build consensus in order to achieve your goals makes a difference in your ability to be relevant in the world of today. If we take our example from the Bible, Jesus was not a lone player. Think about it. He had all the power to do everything that he wanted to do by himself. He didn't need, he's complete in himself. He has absolute power and authority. Yet, he exemplified the need for a team in his disciples and beyond his disciples to the many other disciples and converts who joined hands with him in service to achieve that which he was already empowered to achieve. With or without them, he would have achieved it. But yet, he showed us that, look, I'm in the world. And in the world, multiplicity of talents are required for the things that needs to be done. And that's why when you look at his disciples, there was diversity of talents. So in the corporate world of today, you must recognize diversity. You must understand the strengths of the men and the women. You must be open to the fact that some younger and some older will be the ones that will make a difference to your ability to deliver value. You must be able to engage and to learn from all. You must be willing to continuously educate yourself, asking questions and expressing your view, both right and sometimes you will be wrong. But you know what? When you're wrong once and someone says, oh, by the way, you know what you said is partially true, but based on this, this, this that has happened, this portion is no longer true. That's one moment of truth for you because now you've learned that the truth, you, the information you held to be true has become obsolete and you acquire new information. When you get to the next place, you will sound like the star because you will share the information that you have just acquired. For you to be relevant in the corporate world of today, you have to reorganize yourself. It's not a time and a season for superpowers. You're not the one and all in every situation. You have to be a collaborator. You must be willing to learn from people. You must be willing to work with others. You must be willing to build different kinds of teams and consensus and collaborators around you in order to achieve what you need. You must seek knowledge and information. The Bible says we must seek wisdom. In seeking wisdom, we must seek understanding. You must, apart from gaining spiritual knowledge or biblical knowledge, you need to be informed and empowered in your own field. Whatever area you operate in, you have no business being at the back in terms of information. 
within it. Whatever short courses, magazines, articles, videos, in this world where information is so readily available, but therein lies the other danger. Because there's a lot of information that is not necessarily true as well. So you must be someone that is diligent, which means that you don't just take things, you investigate information. When you get information, you do the due diligence to ensure that your information is correct. The Bible says, out of the mouth of two shall the word of God be established. And in the multitude of counsel, there is safety. Why is that? Because if one person has partial information, another person will give you another information. If you do due diligence and you combine all the different information together, you're likely to get nearer the truth. So in this time and age that we're in, there's a need for you to be diligent. There's a need for you to do the work. Don't do surface work. Don't become the one of those that wing it, so to speak. You know, you act the part without the substance. It's very easy to catch those kind of people. Because you ask one, two questions, the surface theory falls apart. And in a competitive environment and a competitive world, you have to own your own knowledge. You must know what you know. And what you don't, you must say, oh, I, I don't really know that, you know, but I can search for information in order to uh, educate myself on that.